Alright, I am heading down into Old Town to check out the Greenland National Museum, which is that white building right there in between the hills and the coast. The weather is so unpredictable here that one day you can see it can be, you know, a couple centimeters of snow like we had on, I think it was Wednesday. And today, pretty much maritime rain. So as much as this wind and rain really sucks, I'm very thankful that I don't have to worry about slipping today and that all the ice and snow is gone. So this is just wet. But I'm gonna rush off over here towards the National Museum as it closes at four o'clock. So this is 50 Danish kroner, so not too expensive. Around about, oh, nine bucks Canadian. You can see these figures that are quite unique to Greenland. You don't see this in none of it at all, but uh, these remind me a lot of like some sort of shamanistic kind of figures you'd see in like Papua New Guinea. So lots of unique carvings on display here. This is the modern side of the museum. Those are very unique. I don't know what they call those, but they're everywhere here in Greenland. And you can see some Inuit accessories here. This style is very Greenlandic. You can see these neck pieces. And these are traditional costumes or outfits. So this exhibit shows the typical house or bedroom, I guess, of someone living in Greenland in 1966. So see the posters on the wall, bed with the furs, traditional food being prepared. So muktuk on the left there, some fish, some tuktu, caribou meat, berries, it's like some grains here and biscuits. And most importantly, I suppose, the kiluk, which is the heat source. So seal fat would be put into that little vat and then lit on fire, and that would be your heat source. And that's the same as in Nunavut Territory in Canada. So it is a pretty impressive museum. They've put a lot of work into it to recreate, especially what life would have been like. But you get the idea. Pretty well put together museum. And this is a traditional Inuit kayak, and you can see how long this one is. <laughs> And here's a lot of uh, Thule history, so a lot of northern, northern Greenland. All these traditional parkas, like very warm, kind of more modern ones over here. Lots of history here. It's really cool to explore a little bit of this, all these artifacts. And these are all examples of children's toys, basically. Little polar bears, just cute. Little bags, purses. It's amazing how different societies can just come to these ideas, I guess, of making these things without having much, you know, contact with the outside world. And in this exhibit, you can see all these different hunting appliances, spears, spearheads, knives, and even a small little kamatik sled. There's a lot going on in this museum. It's actually a lot to see, and I probably needed a little bit more time, but it is what it is. A variety of different kuluks and baskets. They even have some pretty nice sensory games here for the kids. So different types of animal furs. And they have the little guest boxes here. So I thought this was polar bear, but I was really wrong about this one. This one's kind of sketchy. So I thought it was polar bear, but it is a dog. And I love how they've predicted that kids need a break. So there's a little kids area here with coloring sheets and everything else. Good idea. The mummies are circa 1475. So they're actually older than Columbus's journey across the Americas. Well over 500 years old. So absolutely sobering, but quite incredible that they were able to uncover this and just look at the traditional furs and everything. Gives you an idea of what they did when people died and how they were buried. That little baby, that is just heartbreaking. Like not even a year old. Really depressing. And again, I hope I don't get demonetized because I'm just sharing information with you. And But uh, I know this is pretty gruesome, so forgive me. But of course, this is a museum, so keep that in mind. And there's another one here. They must have just died in their sleep or died from the cold. and. They were uncovered in the Arctic ice here. It gives you an idea about, you know, how they lived. Harsh climate though, but it looks like they all died together as a family. 
Wow. No words. So this museum is actually spanning several buildings, so you gotta go between them to access the various exhibits. Looks like this one is about Inuit transport, so I'm gonna head in here. Very cool. Lots of historic kamatics that were uncovered and moved to the museum, and plenty of kayaks. There's so many of them, wow. It is definitely worth the 50 kroner. There's lots here. They've done an excellent job preserving Inuit history. Outstanding. All right, ancient people. So we're gonna do this in four minutes. Wish me luck. All right, reconstruction of a tent. This is the prehistoric exhibit. Wow, well, it's pretty rudimentary. Some spearheads here. Very prehistoric. Wow. <laughs> Very cool. And some other tools of the Sakak culture right here. They're closing, so that's pretty much it for today. Evidently an hour and a half is not enough time to see that museum. If you come, I would give it three hours. I probably could have lingered there another hour and a half. There's just a lot to see, far more than I would have anticipated. So I think the next stop for me here in Old Town is going to be to climb to the very top of that rocky outcrop that you can see there to check out the statue of Lutheran missionary Hans Igel. It doesn't look like too hard of a climb, thankfully. So I think you curl around just behind the church there and then make your way up kind of the back side of the mountain there. And this cobblestone path is a lot less slippery than it was the other day, so that's good. And there's the beautiful Church of Our Savior right in front of me here. All right, I located the trail. Get a head up and check out this famous statue overlooking the entire waterfront here in Nook. So again, very important historical figure here, the founder of Christianity in this area, Hans Ego. <laughs> didn't take too long at all, but I have arrived up here at the Hans Egel statue. This is the Norwegian Danish missionary who brought Christianity to modern Greenland, Hans Egel, even though I've been pronouncing it Hans Egedi for the past two days. Well, it was a bit of a wet climb down. It's funny, my left foot is soaked, my right foot is dry, so I must have just stepped in a puddle without realizing it. But I am saying goodbye to Old Town beautiful Church of Our Savior right here and definitely happy to have been delayed because I got to see far more of Newark and honestly I'm not paying for it so that's a perk. It's like an all-inclusive vacation if you get delayed.